We are here at Gallery 144, which most people know as Lenny Foster's, uh, let me move the camera a little bit, Lenny Foster's uh, place where he exhibits his photography. And Lenny himself has become a very much beloved photographer here in town. But today, someone is borrowing this gallery <laughs> to put his own stuff. And this is Brandon Santiago. Hello. And uh, Brandon, how long have you been in this area? Um, well, I live in Palm Coast. I grew up in Palm Coast. Right. Um, um, yeah, moved there when I was two. So I've always been around the area. Okay. Uh, I work here now. Right. At the, uh, but you're still Palm living Coast. in Palm Coast? Yes. So you're yes, commuting? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Uh, but it's, it's not that bad of a drive. Okay. It's half an hour. It's not bad. And yeah, it's not driving. bad. No, yeah. it isn't. It isn't. Yeah. It's not, you know, it's not Greenwich, Connecticut into New York City. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. no, it's not. <laughs> so, so, so here we are. Today is December 2nd. It is our walk. It's the year 2022. In case some astronaut finds this <laughs> thousand years from now. Yes, they'll know. And uh, so what are you exhibiting here today? So today I have exhibited... Uh, 11 piece exhibit um, okay six paintings and five uh charcoal sketches that I all have. right okay so i'll start off with the charcoal sketches all right um, at the saint augustine art association they have monday night classes well it's actually a more of a workshop okay. but it's the live models oh. and i used to do those all the time in, in college you know right, right. perfect your skills by looking at right. you know Practice, practice, uh, the practice. New model. Yeah. Yes. And I started. What was it? I started last year doing a, uh, the the classes over here in St. Augustine. And um, <clears throat> of course, I do the traditional like realistic charcoal. I started doing that. Uh, but then, what was it? I think I did it the actually the very first class. Mm. Uh, for the longer poses, I started combining my abstract style with what I see. So I'm blending to two, uh, the two together. So you're blending charcoal and? So I'm blending my intuitive abstract style okay. with what I see, the model, the representation with the, model. Okay, so real yes. image versus abstract image. Yes, and okay. combining those cool. two. Yeah, and charcoal, I love using charcoal for, you know, sketching and uh, for some of the pieces too, I use acrylic paint pen okay. and I layer and layer over that as right. well to give right. it a little more pop, you know? Okay. And uh, for this half of the series, um, it's just a collection of paintings that are really emphasize my use of mark making mm -hmm. and um, especially with black lines. Right. Uh, I don't know what it is. I've always loved emphasizing my art with lines. Um, and it's easy for me to express that way. I consider myself an expressionist painter. Okay. So whenever I do paint, uh, it's, I don't plan it. And it's whatever, you know, thoughts, feelings, and um, you know environmental like uh, like factors like any, like anything that like influences me you know and right. it could be whether I'm conscious of it or subconscious and it turns into a release and the way I you know put that on the canvas is I can't think about it I just have to go where go in there and do it and each brushstroke, each mark make, uh, so what it is, turns into a different decision. So what inspires you? Is it is it a dream state? Is it moods? Is it something that happens, meaning an experience? Yes. What usually? I would say all of them. All of them, all the yeah. above. Especially with moods. Moods. Yeah, because those influence my color. Ah, so so what have you noticed? Color and mood. Happy, you see this. Depressed, yeah. you see this. I, Any specific? I see the purple. What would? 
you know, you don't see much purple, and, and you have this purple in those two middle pieces. Mm -hmm. So my, my, my thing is, what mood were you in when you were doing that? I guess I was in a very experiment. I, I experiment a lot with purple. Okay. When I, yeah, when I paint with purple, um, I definitely try to experiment with yellows. I've been painting with a lot of yellow recently. Mm. And that's yeah, yeah. Yellow that's is prevalent. A really feel good color. Uh -huh. And orange. I love. Uh, I think so. My favorite color combination is uh, orange and blues. That's that's I me. That's me. Blues. When I was yeah. a little boy. You'd, you know, five, six years old, my Crayola box. Yeah. All my crayons were like that. My orange crayon was like that, you know, oh, just a little nice. bit. Yeah. I just had to put it into everything, you yeah. know? And then I came to love blue. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that when I go in my closet to pick a shirt, <laughs> there's so many different tones yes. of blue yeah. that I realized, you know, blue and orange, yeah. I've gone mm -hmm. back to orange. Matter of fact, there's a pair of Adidas, I, no, Nikes that my son designed for me and they're in orange and black and they look mm -hmm. really good. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. the Knicks are my favorite team, so. Okay, <laughs> have, a, have, have a good trip now. Enjoy the city. Thank you. All right. See you soon. Be safe. Be safe. Thank you. Those were friends of Lenny. He came all the way from New Mexico, and Lenny is playing hooky from his gallery. That's a whole different story. So, so what, what do you see the future, then, of your art? Is there something that you still want to experiment? I mean, you're still young. Oh yeah. I There's mean, you might so go into much. sculpture, you might go into, you know, cubism, mm -hmm. geometric, abstract, you never know. Yeah, I still, I'm still going to experiment with painting. Painting is probably, mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. it's the medium that makes me feel the best. Right. You it's know, your, especially it's when your I church. Think. Yes. It's your church. It's your spiritual yeah. self. Yeah. When you're in touch with the spiritual yeah. you, it mm -hmm. comes out in painting. Yeah. some people's poetry or something else but yeah. now that you're working full-time now um no part no time, part -time. okay part-time yeah. so, so, so I you still have, have a lot of time good to good work I was gonna say how you that. manage time but it's part-time yes yes well and that good comes first. Yeah. well the, the well art. thank you for your time Brandon yes, and you, today's December 2nd how long will this small exhibit go on oh this will be up until uh, December 6th Tuesday Okay, so yeah. today, Monday and Mon Tuesday, I'm and Tuesday, limited to three okay, days. Okay, three days. Yep. All right. Yep. Okay. Well, I I wish you a lot of success. Thank you. And um, yeah, you're becoming one of those <laughs> people in the community that we are watching closely and and enjoying what you're doing creatively. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to be part. Thank of you, me. my friend. Thank you.